what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Ebony Williams is an attorney and TV host. If you don't know her, more than likely you will soon because she'll be joining the cast of Real Housewives of New York. She recently went on the Wendy Williams show to promote. They got into a discussion about quarantining. She said she broke up with her fiance because he chose to quarantine with his children in New Jersey instead of her. His, first she said his adult children, then she said his semi-adult children. Two of them are semi-adult. Now, I don't know what semi-adult mean. I don't know if that's teenager or what, but that's her story. What I want to know is, was she right to dump her dude because he chose the children over her? Now, before you answer that question, you may want to be very careful. You see, because I am going to put the shoe on the other foot. What if a man had said he dumped his woman because she chose the children over him. She chose the children over him. How many of you would have said that that was a blessing in disguise that he dumped her? How many of you would have said that, oh, she dodged a bullet? He and his feelings because she chose her children over him? Come on, fam. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. Perhaps the breakup underscored more serious issues that they were having. See, that's what the quarantine did for a whole lot of relationships. It let people know how strong or how weak the relationship really was. A whole lot of people could not survive the quarantine. They couldn't do it. So I, mean, I got a friend who is a, a family lawyer, and she says she has about four times the amount of divorces during quarantine than she's ever had at any period. See, when you start being around somebody all the time, 24 seven, you really get to know them because you can be staying with somebody and only see that person at bedtime, you know, getting up to roll out, getting ready to roll in. You know, you might see that person in the house, in the actual house, like with your eyes open for maybe two, three hours, four hours max, then weekends. So you don't really get to see all day, every day, that person. And so a lot of these relationships got exposed that people had chinks in the armor, you know? So this whole lot of these relationships could not survive. If the children were young, right? Let's, let's just say young children. I could very well understand why he would really want to be with his children. Quarantine going down, we don't know what's going on. It's the first time something like this ever happened. Hell, we don't know if the world is coming to an end. We don't know if who's going to survive. She's a fiance, not the wife, right? Now, ideally, it would, it would have been cool if all of them could have stayed together, right? They could all stay together in the same house, but obviously that, that wasn't, I don't know, I guess it wasn't possible. For whatever reason, that did not happen. Now, it gets a little sketchy here. If dude was with the mother under the same roof, I can see some trepidation there. I can see why that could, that could be a problem. 
Ebony said that she hung in there for six months and then she just couldn't take it anymore, so she called it off. I know a lot of y'all like those Bible quotes, so I'm gonna go ahead and give you one. And two shall become one. I think that's in the Bible. Sound like it ought to be in the Bible. And two shall become one. But that's upon marriage. Now, until then, man, and I'll tell you something else. Really, when it comes to choosing, I personally think it should be based on who need me the most at that moment. I don't have to necessarily say one person over the other, you know, the wife over the children or the children over the wife or whatever, but who need me the most at the particular time. In this regard, I'm going with the kids. Quarantine, I don't know what's happening. I got a fiance, yeah, but hey man, we ain't married. And she's a grown woman who has a whole life. It ain't like she's a really needy person. She's independent, right? We still on the phone. If something happened, I can jump on a plane and get on out there. And, and But until then, hey, we're going to have to just figure it out. I don't know, fam. Maybe it's me, but you would think with the way that many women complain about men being suckers and busters and simps and dudes who are not there for their children, that one might be grateful for a man that is. No more talk. What the man is talking about.